Hi, I'm Lai, Life and Leadership Coach and Hypnotherapist, and I've got five tips to help you speak up in your relationships and feel empowered. Here are my tips to help you speak up in your relationship. Number one, know yourself. In order to speak up and say what you need to say in your relationship, you need to know what's important to you. Spend some time feeling your feelings. Notice your fears and what happens just before you shut up and shut down. What are the triggers that cause you to feel uncomfortable and keep you from speaking up? Write out what you need. How is it important to you? What's so hard for you to share? And what would make it easier for you to speak up? When you are clear with what you need to say, then you can create a plan for how you're going to do it. Number two, talk about the little things. Talk to your partner about the things that are easier for you to discuss. Usually these are things that are about your day that have nothing to do with your partner. This helps build a connection where you'll be more comfortable bringing up the things that may lead to deeper discussion. When it's hard for you to speak up for yourself in your relationship, you might start pulling away and stop talking about the unimportant things as well. If you feel disconnected from your partner, it's usually harder to start with a conversation. So start now with the little things and it becomes easier and a better habit in your relationship and it will give you confidence to bring up the things that are bothering you. Number three, have clear boundaries. Having clear boundaries with yourself and your partner can make disagreements easier to manage. Make sure you have a goal in mind. What's the purpose of the discussion? What do you want to accomplish? Are you bringing things up so they will be aware that it hurts you? Do you want them to stop saying it or doing it? What do you need and what is not being met? Let them know what you need and what it means to you. If they yell when you're trying to share what's bothering you, let them know you need some time out and you'll come back and try again. When you have boundaries in place, it can be easier for you to share what's bothering you and not get hooked and hijacked by emotions. Number four, pick a good time. Now, I know this seems pretty obvious. However, it's worth mentioning because timing can be very important when you need to talk about something that's bothering you. If you try to have the discussions at an inconvenient time, you may not feel heard by your partner. This might make it hard for you to bring up other things that are bothering you and can cause you to shut down even further. If your partner is busy with something or has other plans, it may not be a good time to talk. Ask your partner if it's not a good time to talk, then can we agree on a time that works better? When you know that you will have your partner's undivided attention, it can be easier for you to speak up. Number five, communication skills. When you use effective communication skills, it helps you feel more comfortable sharing with your partner. Use I statements instead of you. When you use you statements, your partner can feel under attack and become defensive and it will be hard for them to listen to you. When your partner speaks up, reflect back to them what they've said. And you can do this by saying, I hear you and repeat back to them what they said and ask your partner to do the same when you speak up as well. This is about active listening. If you're listening so that you can reflect back what they're saying, then you're not being focused and preparing what your response is. After you hear what they're expressing, you can clarify and make sure that you understand. Then you can ask your partner to do the same. Speaking up in your relationship helps foster a deeper connection. We're human and we're wired to belong. The more we unconditionally accept ourselves, our weaknesses, our fears, vulnerabilities and imperfections, the more grounded we become in the presence of others. And that's how we build better connections and confidence to express our authentic self. It really does start with you. Try these tips and notice, if you are still avoiding having a conversation with your partner, couples coaching can help. Each time we speak our truth, we become more empowered to be our authentic self. I hope this has served you. And if you think this will help someone, please share and remember to click subscribe so I can continue to share with you tips and tools to help you transform you and your life.